Hey everybody, it's Edie, your remote video creator and YouTube strategist. I'm coming in today with an updated video to a video I did several years ago on creating Camtasia markers. In today's video, I'm going to briefly talk about what they are, how you can use them, and how you can add them to your timeline. So stay tuned. First, what are Camtasia markers? Markers are points that are created on your timeline. They help you to identify navigational points on your timeline, points that you wish to remove, set points that you want to use to help you split a long video into multiple videos. And then finally, markers are automatically created for every slide whenever you import a PowerPoint presentation. To start adding markers to your timeline, you'll need to open up your marker view by either hovering over the down arrow to the far left side of your timeline under the plus button, which will open your marker view, or you can use the shortcut Control plus M. Now, as you can see here, my marker view is already open. And then as I hover, you can see that my cursor is moving with a plus sign and a long, thin blue line. So this is how I can select a spot on my timeline to actually create a marker. Once I click on this area, you can see that it will create a marker. In this example, it says number four. To change the name, I'll click the marker and change the name either by right-clicking it or heading over to the Properties window. Let's title this Font Choices. And that will be where this marker now lives. Now this marker is identified solely on the timeline. That means that the media on the tracks can be moved and replaced, but the marker will always stay. If you want to have the marker be identified by the actual content that's on your timeline, then instead of marking it on the marker view, you'll have to go to the media on the track itself and mark it there. So if I click here, you will see that it's now identified as marker number five, and then I can change this to color selection. As a result, this marker is now attached to this specific clip on this track. Now, if I close the marker view, and then I try to move this track, you can see that the media has the marker view there. As you can see, the marker is included in the clip it goes wherever the media goes. This is the safest way if, say for example, you decide to add markers as you're editing, it's better that you identify the marker to the actual media itself as opposed to the timeline because they will not move. My preference though is to edit my videos first and then I come in afterwards and add my markers once I'm done. However, if I was editing, and adding the markers at the same time, then I would choose to have it attached to the actual media itself. If you need to remove this specific marker, then all you need to do is right click it and then click on delete, or you can select it from the properties window and click on the X to remove it. If you ever want to move a marker from the timeline area onto the media that's on the track, all you need to do is come over to the marker in question, follow down that line, and then click on the track that you want to associate it with. And now you've moved it from the timeline area on your marker view to the actual media on your track. If you have any questions on anything Camtasia, on any of the new features that they have in 2020, feel free to post them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next one.